Hello and welcome to Adventure All The Way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And this channel, if you're new here, is all about home educating and family life with two and possibly, we're thinking, maybe three autistic children. So one of the things that I get asked a lot is, do you take breaks and how do you get on track after you have a break? Now this year, as you might have seen in my other video, uh, 2021 was known as the year that we unschooled. Um, it began accidentally and then I thought, hey, stop it, let's keep going. So we've kind of carried on that train this year, the unschooling train, not so much through choice. I did plan to do things, but um, we nearly, nearly always take January off because we have, excuse me, three birthdays in this house as well as a couple of other family birthdays and then we have two death anniversaries as well intermingled with the children's birthdays. So we have Bessie's birthday on the first, then we have my nan's birthday or what would have been her birthday on the 5th. Then we have my son Charles's birthday on the 9th. We have the anniversary of my nan's death on the 10th. We have my darling sister-in-law's birthday on the 11th. Then we have a big gap and we have my granddad's death anniversary on the 26th and 25th and Albert's birthday on the 26th. So it's a really stressful month in all sorts of ways, very emotionally charged. And you've also got all this kind of January blues that you get anyway, and it's all just a bit difficult. So we generally just take January off. So February we've begun very slowly because we've had essentially two months off of, of just following our, following what we want to do and chilling out and we've been easing into it gently, doing a bit here and there mainly, just doing lots of reading, visiting the library, um, at least that was the plan. Um, but I had dental surgery at the end of January, then we all got COVID, um, and then I was feeling unwell, and then we went on holiday, and now it is the 27th of January, 27th of February even, and here we are in February, and it's just kind of gotten away with us. So we're now gonna be easy, we're gonna now just say, hey, biggest start but just starting in March it's all good so we're getting back on track my plans are to do the following so Mondays they go to forest school and they'll be continuing to do that number one number two on Tuesday I'm going to do flashcards with Albert I'm going to um, get him back on using maths seeds and reading eggs. I'm going to get Bessie back on reading eggs and maths seeds. I'm going to get Charles back on math seeds and um, and reading eggs as well. Um, or reading express. I'm going to get everyone doing the app. And I'm going to get Bessie to read me a book and do Albert's flashcards with him. And like, that's it. Wednesday, I'm going to do something, you know, add something, do that same thing again, same routine. And we're just going to keep doing that for a week of of English and maths and then whatever else we fancy that comes along. Uh, we'll do some art in there because we always do and then on Fridays we go to our library and um, I'm going to get the children to pick in, um, a science, history or geography book. Um, I also may encourage them to do a language and actually uh, we were on holiday with my husband's family and my niece who goes to school who is the same age as Bessie said to me I think you should teach your children a language because it's really interesting and it's really a really good life skill to have and I said yeah that's a really good idea and we have learnt languages now and again and Charles has been using Duolingo and learning French like she's learning French at school. I said, however, our brains work best if we're doing something, if we're learning something that we are interested in and that we love. And if someone is not interested in learning a language, it's going to be harder for them to learn a language than if they're really interested in it. I said, for example, do you really like learning French? And she said, yeah, I really love learning French. I love speaking French. I want to go to France so I can speak French to French people. I'm really excited to learn more French. And I was like, well, that's great. You're obviously really good at languages. She certainly has a better grasp of languages than I did at her age. Um, and that's amazing. But for example, for someone like Bessie, who is just not interested in learning French at all, um, it's not suitable for her to learn French right now. It's just not gonna go into her head. And Albert, uh, again, he's not interested at all. And my focus with those two is to learning to read. And that's what I expressed to my eight-year-old niece. I said, right now, Charles has those other things that he's interested in. He's in interested in more practical things like carpentry. That's something that he wants to learn at the moment that will serve him much 
much better than learning French and Bessie and Albert both need to concentrate on learning to read and write English before they start learning another language and she seemed very satisfied with that and all of the grown-ups that were in earshot some of whom do not agree I think with our decision to home educate also seemed satisfied with the answer too so thank you my lovely niece A um who I'll just abbreviate her name uh, for for kind of giving me that opportunity to go to the rest of the family <laughs> Um, and if they know me well enough they know that I'm just te teasing when I do that anyway so um, I wanted to just kind of talk about that and what our curriculum plans are what books we're going to be using um, moving forward um, now we talked a little while ago about the mental maths books that I was going to be using and I will be keeping up with those uh, the video where I show you them is up here um, we're going to be doing reading eggs we're going to be doing math seeds and you can check out there's a link in the description box um, and I do have a, um, you can, there's, there's always, if you're new to reading eggs and maths, there is a free trial. Um, and I did do a promotion with them a little while ago. And for that, I did get a free year subscription. Uh, this is not a promotion in any way, but that was, um, yes. So we're going to be doing that. And then the reading, we're just doing Biff, Chip and Kippers for, uh, Bessie and Albert is using, uh, the flashcards and flashcards, which I have linked below. Um, I will, I do have a home ed with me January edition coming up soon. Um, I say January edition. That's what it was meant to be. And I'm just looking at my plans here and I just read it January edition. It's like, oh, winter edition is what it's going to be. So it'll be the winter edition. Um, it will show us probably show us doing a nature walk doing some art um and then doing our like english and maths and also potentially the library trip i'll like get some snippets of those bits um they will be probably from different days um but we'll kind of see how we go with that i'm looking forward to sharing that with you so you can kind of see what home ed looks for like looks like for us at the moment um so my biggest tip for getting back after the getting back on track after a break is just to start small. If you write a list of what you want it to look like or what you're hoping for home ed to look like at the end of your getting back on track, that's your goal. And then one step at a time. So maybe for three days you will just do one of those things and then for three days you will do two of those things and then for three days you'll do three of those things and slowly build it up until you're doing the whole list. Um, obviously my lists are very small I have two autistic children and my youngest child is also probably autistic um if if not he is definitely neurodiverse and if he's not autistic he's probably got um ADHD or ADD that light's really annoying me I'm gonna go I move there look you can still see me and the light's not in my own eyes hang on ah how oh, the sun's at either side of my head there we go it's better um so we don't work in the way that maybe a neurotypical child who's being home educated would work just because we need to do things slower we do home educate all through the year we don't usually take many breaks we don't certainly and certainly don't take holidays and if we go on holiday as a family we usually take home ed work with us um so my my big tip is to just take it easy don't worry too much about it if you're thinking i'm not doing anything i'm doing anything that's fine don't sit down and do workbooks don't do worksheets don't do any kind of curriculum just go outside just take them out take them to educational places take them to the library take them to a museum anything that's free or cheap and local they're going to learn loads from that you don't have to be sitting down doing workbooks and worksheets to get back on track and even if you just take them to the park or they have play dates or they're watching documentaries if you really don't feel up to doing stuff it's all educational and it's all getting back on track so that is my big tip for you today is take it easy build up slow to get back to where you want to be but what I found is that our kids are nearly always happy taking life at a slower pace. Children are not fast paced people, they are slow paced people. They don't want a busy rushed life, they want opportunities to be a kid. So I have found with mine, the less is more, the less they are actually being made to do, the more they actually learn, the more I'm trying to the more I try and force stuff into them the more resistance I will get and then it feels like school and now mine have never been to school so they don't need any different but I don't want them to have that experience so I don't try and recreate it at home so I will share with you soon a day in the life of home education with us um, so you can see what it's look like, looking like in this season of life and I'm really excited to share some videos coming up 
of um, new things that are going on in our lives and to build this channel even more I'm uh, looking at my subscriber account and I am aiming for 2000 by the end of the year um, that's my aim in my head so I have to work towards that and get my button to gear and start getting content out there for you so if you um, want to see more from me check out my Instagram adventure all the way and if you need any home education advice at all with the UK based information and by UK I do mean England um, because I'm very aware that the Welsh and the Scottish do not like being called British um, as a whole so um, England based English based home education and it does actually the rules in the U in in England to do cover the UK as well I'm not as well versed with um, Scotland and Northern Ireland um, however I have been to Northern Ireland and I love it very much uh, I've been to Wales and I love that very much and I've never been to Scotland I feel like I should probably change that I do have a really good friend who lives in Scotland um, hi Heidi and I feel like I should go visit her maybe sometime so that would be very cool Anyway, I'm going to go now. Um, well, I can smell roast pork cooking in the oven and it's making me quite hungry. So I'm going to edit this video, get it uploading for you. And um, I've got some other videos that I will be, I need to prepare that I'm not going to show you until later in the year. However, I'm vlogging my experience as I go. And uh, later on in the year, um, probably only uh, three months from now I will share those videos with you and um, you can uh, you can see what I've been what's been going on and why we've maybe been a bit quiet um, over the last few weeks and months I guess we've had a lot of stuff going on so um, I will you all of that will be revealed later on in the year and I will take you along with the, with me for the journey um, when it comes along so um, if you would like to um, join my patreon account i will be uploading the videos that will come out later in the year on this channel they will be available early um probably in real time on the patreon channel um so if you are interested in that then i um i will be sharing those uh probably probably starting june those videos will be being shared in real time um and i'll probably be I'll probably be almost probably be like every other day every three days something like that there will be real-time updates videos on patreon they will not be on here um for probably about three months after that so um i will share that with you another time thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't already